In these words, we're looking at the EA making the short it sound. So instead of saying E, which it commonly does, it can also make a short it sound, as in heaven, weapon, weather, measure, treasure, youth, and then these words have the OO sound, youth, root, routine, tourism, and souvenir. So the OO sound is made with the OU. So you can highlight those through. Um, and then let's go back to heaven. Now you've got the EN on the end, so we tend to give that a schwat sound. So HEV-N, you've got to remember it's EN. Whereas in weapon, it's weapon. Um, but once again, we quite often give it a schwat sound. Um, weather is ER on the end, and then you've got the TH in there too. Measure, you've got the URE on the end, the same as in treasure. So pretty much all of those words we're giving a schwa ending, heaven, weapon, weather, measure, treasure. We're not really sounding out those letters as they should be um, enunciated. So just be aware of them when you're spelling them, that you do have to spell them the way they're written here. Now in these words, we've got youth with the TH at the end. Root, you've got that E on the end. Routine, you've got the E making the previous I make its long sound. Tourism, it's an SM on the end, and Suv E near. So you've got the IR on the end there. Now with weapon weather, um, just be aware that there's no air after you say weapon and weather. So that means there's no H after that W in either of those words. Now if we go through and look at what these words mean, um, heaven is a nice place where some people believe God lives and we may go when we die. Um, a weapon is a fighting tool. The weather is in relation to wind, rain, temperature, um, cloudiness, sunshine. It's all those things that happen every day in the world. Measure is working out the size of something. A treasure, it means items of value. So it could be special gems and jewels and um, gold and money. Um, youth is an adolescent. Uh, the root is the correct direction that we follow to get somewhere, somewhere or the way to somewhere. Routine is something that we do on a regular basis or at a regular interval. Um, so you might do something every Monday um, and it might be for a specific period. Tourism is where we travel for pleasure. A souvenir is an item to remind us of a place we visited. In these words, we've got the EA making its short sound X. So we've got heaven, weapon, weather, measure, treasure. And then we've got the OU where it's making the OO sound as in zoo. So we've got youth, root, routine, tourism, and souvenir. So you'll also find that many of these endings are schwa endings where we're not pronouncing the end of the word correctly. So do take note when you're writing these words that you do spell them correctly. Um, and yeah, there are a few tricks in there, so just be aware of it. You know, little things like the IR at the end here, the URE at the end of these two. Um, whether, which weather you're writing, there are three different ones. So you've got the TH with the ER, Weapon, you've got the O-N at the end. Heaven, you've got the E-N at the end. So there's quite a few tricks in here. Root, we've got the E on the end. Routine, you've got the E making the previous I make its long sound. So, so it's not an easy list. Um, here we want you to complete the crossword puzzle. You've got your clues going across and down the page. Down here you have to write the list word that matches the antonym. So antonym means the opposite. So you just have to write those in here. Then write the meaning for, if someone says um, en route or seventh heaven, what are they meaning? So you have to write those down. And then down the bottom, you've got to fill in the gaps with the correct word. So you've got weather, weather, and weather. So this weather are the conditions of the day, whether it's cloudy, raining, sunny, windy. This is when, the, when you don't know which one to choose. Um, and you've got to make a selection on something and a weather is a young male sheep. So um, you would know that this weather doesn't have an H after it because if you say it, weather, there's no air after the W. 
Um, and this weather, weather, there's no air after the W, so that you know there's no H after the W in either of those. Whereas this one, whether, because you can feel the air after the W, you know it does have an H in there. So usually the EA makes a long E sound in words, but it can also make a short X sound, like in heaven, weapon, weather, measure, treasure. Now just be aware of the ends of these words too, because you do have some tricky sounds. You've got the some schwa endings and some um, like you've got the E N heaven, but weapon. You've got the O N. So just be aware of them. Highlight them in a different colour. Whether you've got the E R measure. You've got the U-R-E on that and treasure. Now youth, you've got the T-H. This is the U making, um, the O-U making the U sound in youth, root, routine, tourism and souvenir. So don't forget there's an E on the end of root. Routine, you've got the I-N-E. Tourism, you've got the I-S-M. And souvenir, you've got a very unusual I-R ending for the er uh sound. Now in the verb families, you know the... Um, pattern here, we have the base word, here we're adding the S, here we're adding the ing, and here we're adding the ED. Now, when you're adding an S to a word that ends in E, you just have to add the S, but here, if um, a word ends in E, the E must go away when you're adding the ing, and if you've already got an E on the end of the base word and you're adding ED, you don't need to add the E, just add the D to the base word. You're going to use some of these words and some other extensions on these list words to finish these sentences. Um, so make sure you've got the correct uh, suffix ending on them. Down here, make new words and use them in sentences. So your new words are going to be measurement, you arrived on the line, and then you use it in a sentence there. Your other words will be tourism, heavenly, routinely. Now down the bottom, we've got a couple of idioms for you. So you've got to finish the saying and write the meaning. So what does beyond mm, mean? You're going to fill that gap with a list word. And to something the storm means and fill in what that means as well. This is a crack the code crossword. So the first thing you have to do is fill in the letters that you know. So let's have a look at what some of them may be. So we know N, number one is N, so you need to go all the way through and find any number ones and put an N in. Um, and you can cross off N down the bottom because we know we've got that one. Now we know we've also got B, we've also got um, M. So you can cross off all the letters that you have. Um, and then go to the start of your book where you have a list of all the words in the book and you should be able to work out from the letters you've filled in what these other numbers would be, what, which letters they would be. As you find in each letter, don't forget to fill it in on the table and then cross out the letter down here to indicate that you've used it.